Hello and welcome to another episode of Revealing God. Ha 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 ha. Just wanted to prove to my buddy that I do use a microphone, so shut up. Just kidding. All right, um, so this is part two of episode six. We are talking about religion versus relationship, right? And basically, I've gotten zero feedback from anybody. So good job out there, guys. Thanks for providing the feedback that I requested. You're doing a great job. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to go off of, again, is what what I'm being led to believe. Um, and in my heart, I believe it's the Holy Spirit. Okay. And so in the Bible, it talks about God knows us before he put us in the womb, right? Which is a great uh, argument against abortion, um, which would be another subject if we were going to have one, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, but I knew you before I placed you in the womb, right? And so what does that tell me? Before you were ever able to follow any Catholic rituals or any Methodist or Baptist rituals or whatever's out there, right? Before you had to kneel, stand, kneel, stand, Hail Marys and, and all the other stuff, primarily doing Catholic stuff because I've never been Methodist, never been Baptist. Uh, I've been baptized Catholic and I was Catholic for a long time. Um, but now I'm more non-denominational. And the reason is because I think it's a personal relationship with God that, that we need to have and not all the rituals of some religion, um, telling me what I have to do in order to get to heaven. Um, I think that, that God gave us the Bible, um, as basic instructions before leaving earth. I'm sure you guys have probably heard that um, acronym before, but um, yeah, he, he gave us the Bible. And, and honestly, I don't need some preacher or some Pope or anyone else telling me how I should live my life or do things. Oh, look at that. Um, because God's already done it, right? What I try and do is have that personal connection with God. Um, and what it does is it leads me down roads that I may have missed if I didn't have that personal connection. One thing is this podcast, right? Which we are going to get to now. Um, so, and here, here's the tricky thing. Sometimes if, if, if you're not careful, you can think that you're hearing from God and you may be hearing from God, or you may be just think you're hearing from God. And if you're me, you tend to run with it, right? Because I want to do God's will. I want to stay in God's will no matter what. I have a heart to do what God puts in my mind, on my heart, and I want to run and do it, right? I want to go out there and get it done. That's just how I am. And thank God, God knows me and he knows that this is the way I am. Right. And so, but there's also times where he puts you in situations just for certain seasons. Right. And I think that's probably what this podcast was is, is a season. And in, in my mind, um, I'm guessing that there are, one or two people out there that needed to hear one or all of these messages, or maybe, you know, one person needed something from each message. Who knows? I mean, I'm not God, so I couldn't tell you, but I know that he puts me in situations so that other people could benefit. It's like my book, Friendly Fire. Um, if you haven't ordered it, you can order it online now. Travisbury.com. Get your copy now. Had to do the shameless plug. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know, here I was, I was thinking, man, this is going to be great. Everybody's going to be interested in this story. Everybody's going to, this is going to do great. I'm going to help millions or thousands at least of people, right? And uh, yeah, it didn't really go that way, did it? But you know what? 
I know of at least a few people, uh, disabled veterans that it's helped. And in my mind, it is completely worth it, right? Because being the support of even one person is worth it in my book. Um, being their um, spiritual support, being their emotional support, their mental support, their, their physical support, whatever it is, even if it's just one person that benefited from that book, which I know there's more than one. Um, hi to my veteran friends out there. By the way, speaking of veteran friends out there, um, Operation Truth, V-E-R, look it up on Facebook. Uh, my friend Sarah Boyd, she uh, helps run that program and it helps um, bring awareness and education to us vaccine injured disabled veterans. Um, and they are leaving in June to go to Washington, D.C. to bring awareness and education and basically let D.C. know that I think I think she said they've been researching this since the early 90s. Hmm. She could probably pipe in and, and uh, in the comments and probably let you know. But anyways. They've gone nowhere with this. They've gone nowhere with their research. They've done absolutely nothing for us. And that's what Operation Truth um, is setting out to fix, right? These are people that have signed up for their country, um, whether they were reserves like me, uh, whether they were not during wartime like me or during wartime, or they were regular Army, regular Navy, reserves, National Guard, whatever. They, they, they signed the contract saying, I am willing to die to protect the freedoms of the citizens of this country because I love my country and I love these people, right? And the government gave us the big corn dog without the mustard, if you know what I mean. And then they're like, bye-bye, you're on your own. And so Operation Truth is helping people um, helping with, with fighting the system and, and bringing better health care out there for us um, so that we can live better and more productive lives, right? And it's super duper important. Guys, if you don't support them, then I don't know what to tell you. They're a worthy, worthy cause. Um, and you know my heart. I've been supporting them and I hope you do too. But anyways, back to the podcast. So, um, you know, I, it, it's hard for me. And, and the only thing I could say is with the conviction that I had when God laid it on my heart to do this, I got to say that it was God laying it on my heart, not just me coming up with some cockamamie thing or whatever. Because honestly, I don't like sitting down here doing these videos. I don't like going through the editing and other BS that you got to do because, well, and let's face it, I haven't done a lot of it because I'm like, I want this more real, right? But um, as you can hear the dogs in the background, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know if, and so I, I have to believe that it was a seasonal thing, right? That God wanted me to do this for this period of time. Now, I'm not writing it off in the future. I'm not saying I'm never going to do this again. Um, what I am saying is for now, I'm done. I'm done. It's it's going nowhere. It's gone nowhere. Um, what I feel is the people that needed it have either seen it or will see it in the future. And I feel like the podcast has ran its course. And I feel it in my heart. I feel it in my gut, which is where I believe the Holy Spirit talks to you the most. And so it's on to other things for me. So hopefully you've enjoyed the podcast. Um, keep an eye out. I may be doing something with my uh, book I've had written. I mean, honestly, I think I've finished it two years ago and it's, it's pretty much outdated now. So I might do a cheap fire sale type thing um, on my website where it's just like me reading it or um, just like a PDF copy or something. I don't know. I feel like it's got a lot of good information in there. However, a lot of stuff, this world is moving so stinking fast right now that it, I knew by the time I got published, it would be long gone. And I honestly, 
based on the friendly fire experience, I didn't want to spend tens of thousands of dollars to have it flop again. So, um, there it is. That's so that's that's what I'm thinking. So just keep an eye on travisperrier.com. You could keep an eye on my YouTube channel. You could keep an eye on my Facebook stuff because everybody probably knows I have my author channel, my book channel based on various different mistakes I've made. Um, because you know what? Nobody gives you a guidebook on on says here. This is how you should do it. Right. Um, and then I have my personal one, but that's pretty much just locked down for friends. And so if you're not on my personal one, then maybe you should become friends with me and actually be friends with me. Right. Just kidding. All right. So anyways, guys, let's uh, leave in prayer. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity to speak uh, to people through this podcast, through this medium. God, I pray that as many people can be affected by this podcast as possible in the words that you've had me speak through this podcast, Lord. Lord, you're a God of miracles, Lord. And this world is hurting for certain, Lord. And I ask for a miracle today, Lord, that you guide us back to you as a people, as a planet, Lord. Let's get rid of all these evildoers, Lord. Let's have you give them their judgment. It's not up to us to judge them, but let's have you do the ultimate judgment, Lord. And get rid of all the evildoers that are just killing and killing and killing and raping and, and, and just trafficking children and just all the bad stuff that's going on in the world. God, we, we don't even know the half of it, I'm sure. But God, you see everything. And so I ask you, God, to deal with every single one of these evildoers on this planet, God. And I pray that your justice comes swiftly and your justice be ultimate. And Lord, I pray that the, the wealth of the wicked belong to the righteous, as your word says, Lord. So I pray that that happens in Jesus' name. And Lord, finally, God, I ask that each and every person watching this, is truly, truly blessed going forward, Lord, and that we keep in touch, whether it's through another podcast like this, whether it's through the book, whether it's through my social media, whether it's in person, on the phone, whatever it is, um, Lord, I ask that, uh, that we stay in contact and um, support each other, God, because at the end of the day, other than you, Lord, each other is all we have, right? And the evil people of this world, they like to play us against each other. Oh, you're Democrat, you're Republican, you're conservative, you're liberal, you're white, you're black, you're Jewish, you're Hamas, you're Muslim, you know. God, you know it's not about, it's not about what divides us. It's about what unites us, Lord. And that's, we are created by one God, and that is you, Lord, the ultimate, the ultimate God. And Lord, I pray that we all, each and every one of us, wake up. It doesn't matter whether you're Catholic, whether you're Baptist, whether you're whatever, God. As long as you accept Jesus Christ in your heart, you are saved. We need to stop all the divisive stuff in this world, Lord, and come together. Help us come together, not only as just a nation, Lord, but as a people in the planet, Lord, and unite together and become one under Jesus. And in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. God, uh, God, guys, <laughs> I hope God blesses you. And I thank you for watching this. See you later.